Hello, hello, I'm Anton Victorian, and today it's finally time to talk about the Ampero Mini from Hotton Audio. I'm a little bit late to the party, I've been quite busy if you haven't seen the previous video. Um, but yeah, today we are talking about it. First things first, this guy and this guy are from the same family. So, this one is not from the newer family, you know, the Ampero 2 type of products. This one is basically this, way smaller. It's not like the Ampero, what is it called, the MP100 was big or anything, but once you <laughs> get to handle this one, you feel like, oh, this is, eh, this is a little bit heavy, no? So yeah, the Ampero sound in an even more portable uh, format and uh, this one is like very pedal board friendly like it's let me grab a pedal so that you see okay so here's I mean I'm, I'm a bit obsessing about this because it's complicated for you guys on your screen to realize how small this thing is here is a Maxon overdrive here is this thing if you have the Ampero Press, you know, if you're more of a boss user, uh, delay pedal, very pedal board friendly. And it just needs 9 volts of uh, power, so like a normal pedal, which is very handy if you're building a pedal board, because if you did a pedal board with, um, as I have, you know, the Ampero 2 stomp, then you need more power, whereas this just needs your normal 9 volt uh, power supply. So you control your volume here next to the USB-C. Uh, you have an output which uh, is stereo or mono. If you just have one normal jack, it will be um, mono. If you have a stereo jack that splits into two mono, then you are stereo. I just you know, in this video I just use it in uh, mono. Then you have your input and then your foot switch uh, expression thing that we will be using. You also have an uh, aux in and phones out. Aux in if you want to put your favorite backing tracks and phones if you want to listen with headphones. The sound is way worse if you listen to it with headphones. So, you know, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's better to plug it into an interface and then use the headphones from the interface. Oh, and before I forget, I should say that uh, this beautiful unit has been sent to me by the wonderful people of uh, Hotton Audio, which makes this video a sponsored video. However, um, what I'm gonna say is mostly facts and uh, explain how things work and uh, how I've been using it. And for the whole opinion thing, you know, I'm gonna try my best to convey how it sounds here into your ears and then you get to decide whether you like it or not. But so yeah, without further ado, further ado let's get down to business in the computer and that way you see how this thing sounds, you get to see the editor and you know, my preset, um, the interesting stuff. So let's get going. All right, so right now I'm in front of the computer, in front of the Ampero editor. Um, you just have to update the normal Ampero editor for it to detect when you plug in the Ampero Mini. And as you can see, it's as the usual Ampero. If you are not uh, used to it, uh, you have three different effects slots. One amp, the noise gate if you want one, the cabinet, EQ, delay and reverb. And that's pretty much all you have. It's like, you know, limited choice, but then if you want to do like me uh, and change all your effects in front of the amp, you just uh, manage your signal chain and that way, you know, you can move things around as you please. Even if it's more limited than the Ampero 2 stomp, you can still do many great things. Uh, we will get to it because there's one main feature that I really like with this new Ampero Mini. But first, a little walkthrough of the preset that I've built uh, here. Why do I emphasize like this on different words? I don't know, but hopefully you don't mind it. Um, 
So as you can see, it's a very simple preset. Uh, just uh, right now, it's just an amp and a cab. Why the Rector Dual M? I think I like the sound of the rectifier, but then again, I don't know if this sounds like a rectifier or not. It's just that I tried all the amps. Here they are set from cleanest to dirtiest, um, so high gain, and then bass, and then acoustic uh, sims. But so when I do this, uh, I always feel like this one sounds more like I'm what I'm looking for. So yeah, now you know that. And also I should say that I'm using an IR from Chop Tones. Many, many, if not all guitar players are doing the same when playing on digital gear. You have your go-to IRs. For me, it's uh, this one, uh, which is uh, from the Chop Tones pack uh, Mesa Boogie Oversized 4x12 V30 with the Chandler Germanium um, preamp. Uh, again, I'm very used to it and I like it very much. And I think that by using that and, you know, using what the Ampero Mini allows you to do, so uh, import your own IRs, you get the best sound possible out of the unit. So that's why I'm doing it. The feature I talked about um, before that I really, really like is the fact that right now, with this unit, you have the possibility to have three different control foot switches. Why is this a big thing? Well, everybody in the Hotton community has been asking for some sort of snapshots, scenes, whatever you want to call it, you know, to be able to have multiple configurations of sound without changing preset. And so that has always been possible inside the Ampero family when you use the control foot switch. So that's what I use live when I use my pedal board with the Ampero to stomp. I use the control foot switch in order to go from rhythm to solo. But now what I feel is very interesting is that you get three. So this preset, I should do this because you see more, <laughs> you see the screen. So this preset uh, has been built in order to have, you know, what I feel could be uh, different sounds that you may want to access quickly um, with this uh, main rhythm sound as uh, your basis. So, oh, and I should point out that um, right here I'm in, uh, I would say, uh, preset mode, but if I hold, then this is my control foot switch, and if I hold, then this is a tap tempo, I don't use it. But yeah, so here will be my control one, control two, control three. So you understood this switches from rhythm to lead and it's instant. So to that, as far, you know, right now there's nothing new, just rhythm and lead. But once you use, for instance, uh, this one, so this is another different sound that we can get with the preset. So the way I see it is this would be, you know, a nice crunch but can, that can why do I talk and play at the same time so this would be like a crunch um, sound that can both be like you know in your face uh, type of uh, riffing uh, but Mm. 
that, that can be a little bit uh, dynamic. And then once uh, we have this, we go into, I don't know, metal riffing mode. <laughs> One is way tighter than the other, uh, you know, when you are into metal and stuff. But so, again, you by just doing this, you go from uh, a rockish crunch uh, to your uh, metal thing. Solo, crunch, metal. Three different sounds. Honestly, um, I would have loved to be able to have multiple amps, but then again, uh, limited the assets uh, with the Ampero family. Uh, so the way I did for the clean is uh, I used the acoustic sim. Again, it's sort of um, you adapt to what, uh, what you have, but this does the trick. Very, very exciting new feature. So that's basically what I wanted to show you guys about uh, this product. If I may add, because I didn't get around to try the setup myself, because I didn't find someone I could borrow a pedal from, I could really see this uh, working alongside a um, pedal, um, you know, amp in a box type of pedal, um, like the Friedman or the Kraken, you know, many, many preamps, you know, amp in a box type of pedals that if for some reason you don't like the modeling uh, inside this unit you can have your favorite amp sound going inside of this unit and use it as an IR loader because this loads IRs very well and it's not the case of all the you know pedal sized uh, IR loaders and on top of that you get access to effects um, so there will be post distortion effects but you know you have your time effects uh, like uh, delay reverb and uh, all the effects uh, three category so that's another interesting thing that you can uh, do with it uh, you know to work uh, in your already existing uh, setup obviously you can use it as an all-in-one solution but given its size it's really fitted for a pedal board Again, very, very excited about uh, the three control foot switch uh, option that we get, which is the closest that we've ever gotten to having scenes or snapshots inside the Ampero world. So it's really, really cool. That being said, if you want to check out more information about uh, the Ampero Mini and other Hotton products, there will be a link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. You are wonderful. Really, you made it to the end of the video, so thank you so much. I've been Antoine Victorian, and I will see you soon.